Hello, we're going to do some fades, fade ins and fade outs in Adobe Animate. Um, we will start with uh, some text. I've just created this text with a text tool. Uh, we will do some on the same timeline uh, fade in and fade out. And then we'll explain something uh, more on an image uh, such as this one. Okay, so um, as I said, I created this text uh, with the text tool and the first thing we, must, we have to understand is that um, to make a fade in and a fade out we have to create a motion tween and motion tweens have to be created on symbols so the first thing we have to do is to convert it to a symbol uh, okay so that's uh, done and then now we have to create a motion tween which will be the tween that will uh, uh, make it appear and disappear. Uh, so, um, there are various ways to create a motion twin. Some people create um, uh, a keyframe here, insert a keyframe here, and then uh, click on here and uh, create a motion twin. The problem with this for, for uh, our fade in and fade out is that, as you can see, all these uh, uh, frames are part of the motion tween, but the last one isn't. So uh, I will be using this method, and it's not the one I normally use. So um, what we're going to do now is, as we did on the video about uh, motion tweens, we just basically right-click on our symbol and create the motion twin, which will create uh, 30 frames, and all of them are part of our uh, tween. So we can then stretch this out until, for example, 60 frames, and all of these frames are part of a motion tween. What are we going to do now? Now we're going to create uh, our, uh, no, let's make this bigger, 70. So uh, we're going to uh, make uh, our, uh, our phrase um, fade in and then fade out. Uh, the keyframe where it's going to be um, where it's going to finish to fade in is going to be more or less the 35. So I'll insert a keyframe there. What type of keyframe? I don't care. A position one can can serve. And then in the middle of this, more or less here, doesn't have to be exact. I'm going to insert another keyframe because as you see that that will be uh, here. I'm going to see insert another keyframe. This will be the frame where it will start to it will, where it will be at 50% uh, of um, transparency, and then another one here, which will follow more or less the same idea, which will be more or less 50% of transparency, but as it fades out. Okay, so we have a keyframe here where uh, it will start to appear, a keyframe here where it will be at 50% of transparency. 100% of transparency, then 50% again, and then it will disappear again. So, um, let's work with the transparency then. What are we going to do? Well, um, we're going to go to the twins in between. I don't start with this one because it will it has to be 100% transparency, and then if I put 100% transparency here, I won't see the rest of the frame. So I will start here, uh, which would it's which is going to have 50% of transparency and that's what we're going to apply we're going to go right uh, we're going to select our uh, symbol click on properties and then on color effects you will see something that says alpha the alpha uh, is the transparency zero alpha means completely transparent 100% of alpha means no transparency so I'm going to set it up as it's the, the keyframe in the middle to 50%. You will see that as you do that, from then onwards, it's going to be 50% of transparency. So um, let's work on, on our fade in first. Uh, here, it stays with 100%, which was what it had at first. I'm going to set, up, set this up to um, select the object and then set that up to... 0% because I want it to fade in until it gets to 50% um, and then this one over here has to have 100% transparency alpha because I don't want it to be transparent basically so uh, um, 
pump. So that's my fade in done. As you will see, it goes from it creates the motion twin will add the frames from zero transparency, 50% to 100%. Now I need it to fade out. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I want it to have 50%. And then uh, the last one needs to be 100, uh, 0% because it's a fade out. That's disappear completely. Total transparency, 0% of alpha. Okay, so uh, if we now click here, you will see the decisions and it fades in and fades out. Okay, so all uh, this is the easiest way to create a fade in and fade out. Again, it implies a motion twin, so you need to have a, a symbol um, and you have to work on the alpha of the symbol. So, how can we apply it? Can it only be applied on text? No, it can also be applied on images because they're symbols. So, we go here, we convert this into symbol if it's not already created. Okay. And then we again, we create a motion twin. Uh, and we, we want, we're going to make it move. Okay. Uh, let's work on something, make, make it move a bit more. And while it moves, I want it to fade in and uh, just fade in. Okay. So I apply on this frames the transparency. So it has to be, as it's a fade in, this has to be uh, um, completely transparent, zero. And then as you see, all the rest are transparent. So um, I want to change this and it has to be 50% here, more or less. It's just to make it even. And here it has to have 100%. So it's no trans not transparent. Finished. And then when I come here, easy. So phase in and phase out work like this. You can also create a layer, put a layer on, uh, on top and fade that layer in and out. We might work on that another day, but this is the easiest way to make a symbol fade in and fade out.